Good morning, everyone. Starting this uh, trip here in uh, Emsdale. Got here last night. Nothing spectacular. I got 22 bundles of uh, OSB on. And a set of trains, flatbed V trains. I'm uh, just heading into Gravenhurst, dump this, and then I gotta grab a bunch of bins, garbage bins for uh, Fippin, a local waste management company up in the, in the north. So, well, let's get out here and get the day started. Go get this off. First day back yesterday, but uh, 10 days off. My videos are, are catching up to me a little bit, which is which is kind of what I wanted. At first, I got a, I got a little uh, carried away and I got too far ahead of myself. Flatbeds. I think I've got another flatbed that probably finished the week on, on fuel, I would think. It's Wednesday morning now, 6.30. This place opens at 7 where I'm going and uh, well, about a half hour away, so it'll be perfect timing. It's a nice little town here at Gravenhurst, Ontario. I don't get to come in here with the big truck too often, but uh, uh, for tripping in a car or bike, it's a, it's a nice place to, nice place to uh, 
stop in, nice old town. The highway bypasses it now, so you completely miss it. Right, so I got my load off here, Graveners. Oh, one more bundle, and that's it. And uh, off to Bracebridge. Coming into Bracebridge. 
haven't been to this uh, steel shop before, a small steel shop that uh, makes garbage bins. Let's see how many I can jam on this uh, 2828 B train. So I'm holding these blue bins. There we go, all loaded up. What do I have there? Eight bins, eight garbage bins. Nice light load, it's not gonna weigh anything. And getting uh, some revenue to, to head towards home.
Yeah, I'm just north of North Bay here, uh, getting on the two-lane highway. A bunch of construction everywhere, so all the way up, so it'll be, uh, I imagine it'll be a slow ride. We're, we're getting stopped here as soon as we get onto the the uh, four lane or two lane. So I guess we'll see. I'm supposed to. Uh, I'll go right to the waste management place there and deliver these, and then go spot the trailer where uh, where I need it for my cement barriers for the morning. So just like that, I'm getting unloaded. Get this off real quick here and run to the shop. Whew. All right, really. they just jumped on me there, so couldn't even really film too much. But two two guys helping with the straps. And the guy was there revving the tractor, just waiting for me to to get out of the way so he can take them off. So I love that guy. Only here 20 minutes, 15 minutes. It's awesome. Now, by the job I have tomorrow, I'm almost at uh, my hometown here, and there's a construction company that makes uh, cement barriers. And uh, Bumstead's got a contract to haul some cement barriers up to a mine in, in Kirkland Lake. It's not that far, it's like an hour away, but uh, I got three of them to do tomorrow, back and forth, load, unload, so it'll probably take a uh, good part of the half the day anyway, maybe a full day. And, uh, then after that I'll, I'll head south with tankers tomorrow night. So this uh, little rounder here, Gravenhurst, Bracebridge up, was only uh, 761 kilometers, 473 miles. But uh, I'm paid by the hour and it was 15 and a quarter hours. So that's where I, uh, I make it up. And fuel wise, it's 375 liters. So that's it for this one. Now, like I said, I'm going to the mine. I can't film anything up there. But uh, probably be on a tanker uh, for the next video, probably, I, I would imagine. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you then.